Pre-K Jammers. I'm glad you guys are taking that this class this week. We're going to work on some things that are going to help you in all of your Pre-K classes, not just this little jazz and hip-hop one. But we have a lot of fun in this class. I hope you're going to have fun today. Make sure when you stretch that you're not going to hit anything, right? Clear a big space because we're about to do the warm-up song that we do every week and we need lots of room. So here we go. Everybody, face front. Get your spot good. Loosen up a little bit. Bend those knees. Okay, here we go. Passe, but we're going to add a hop. So we're going to step passe, 
If that means we bend this leg and hop off of it. Let's switch it. Up, bend, and hop. Switch it. Lift, bend, and hop. Switch, up, bend, and hop. And that is going to take practice and balance, okay? So make sure you really try to squeeze all those muscles. Fight for that balance. Try to stay up on that foot. That leads us into our skip. And the skip is kind of the same pattern. What we do in a skip is we lift up our leg and we hop. Then we switch our legs and hop one time. And switch, hop, switch, hop, switch, hop, switch, hop. If you've been keeping up with our videos, you've been seeing us work on the skip this week, okay? Some of us already have it. We can always use the practice with more. Some of us don't quite have it yet. So once we get it in our brain, I really think that helps put it in our body. So if you'll think about it, as one hop, switch your leg. One hop, switch your leg. One hop, switch your leg. One hop. So when we're skipping on this part of our freeze dance song, if you know what you're doing, just go around yourself in a little circle. You can go to the side, you can go to the side, you can go forward, you can go back. Just show off your little skips, right? If you need to slow down and use that brain to think Slowly, take that time to do it. Step, hop, switch, hop, switch legs, hop, switch legs, hop. Okay, so use that whenever it comes up in the song. We're also going to use our three-step turn. Okay, I want everyone to practice three-step turns together right now. Put your toe out, everybody tap that right one so I know we're all gonna start with the same foot. We're gonna do three steps, not more, not less. That means we have to really use our brains to talk to our feet because we don't want our feet doing lots of steps and we're just counting to three, okay? So take that time to connect that brain and those feet and let's say it out loud together. Ready? We're just going to do the steps, not the turn yet. One, two, three. By the way, one, two, three. Good. Don't let those feet go too fast. One, two, three. And on one, two, three. Good job. Now we're going to add that turn. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. Very good. Okay, now one thing. We have been working in jam class on is our kick cross touch. It might be new to you, so I'm gonna go over this one slowly too. Let's put those hands on our hips. We're gonna do one little kick. This is not a big kick. This is not a kick that needs a ton of balance. It's just a pretty small little kick. While it's up, it's gonna go ahead and cross, and that back foot comes up and taps to the side. So we do it again. We say kick, we say cross, and touch again. Kick, kick, cross it, touch it, okay? You gotta remember after your kick to hold that leg up until it hugs the other foot and crosses. Kick it, hold it up, cross it. Now the back one's got to peel off and touch. We start again. Kick it, hold it up, cross it, touch. Kick, cross, touch. Good job, we're gonna do this four more times slowly all together. Tap that right foot, show me you know which one we're starting with. Ready? Here we go. Kick, cross, touch, and kick, cross, touch, and kick, cross, touch, and kick, cross, touch. Very good. Okay, so in this song, we're going to do all the dance steps together, but when it says freeze, you're going to freeze. You don't have to do my bows, but I do need you to stop moving. Then get right back on it to the next skip. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Let me get our music. Okay, here it goes.
the feet can't go faster, then you're telling them to go, okay? So we have three steps to take again. We go one, we go two, we go three, we're gonna balance and hold, okay? You might be moving forward, you might be moving back, just make sure you have room, okay? Then we are gonna push this one down and start counting again. One, two, three, and hold. Hold in that passe, balance it, balance it, balance it, and turn. This is a skill that gymnasts can do on the balance beam. So I want you, maybe you find a straight line in your house, maybe you can find something to pretend like it is your balance beam, and that will make you, if we can do it well on the floor, we can do it well on the beam. So let's think about being up on that beam. Ready, walking, one, walking, two, walking, three, and we hold, and we squeeze, and we lift, and we point our toe. Again, one, and two, and three, and we lift, and we pull, and we squeeze, and we point our toe. Okay, try again. Count to three, don't let your feet go too fast. One, two, three, and lift. Whoop, see, we're gonna struggle, but you gotta get right back on. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a So good. So I want, the next time your mom calls you to the gym table, I want you to do three walks in passe all the way there. All right? There are plenty of ways you can practice this skill all over your house, inside and out, and you're not gonna break anything. So just let it go. The more we can balance on the floor, the better we're gonna be on the beam, the better we're gonna be on balancing when we need to hop, and on balancing when we need to switch legs on our pitch kicks, and eventually balancing when we turn. Because that is the pose that we're gonna go into when we hit pirouettes, okay? So get that passe, get the balance, connect the two, and you'll be ready to do so, so many skills, right? Okay, one more thing I really want to work on with you today. I want you to work on your leaps, okay? This is something I'm gonna review, but I do need you to find a little object. Mine's gonna be my star. You might want a shoe, a shirt, a book, something you know that you can jump over easily. Okay, I don't want it to trick you. Something kind of low, something kind of flat, but go, I'm gonna give you one minute to find something and you're gonna bring it right back and put it in front of your toes. Ready, set, go. Okay, hope you found your object. First, we're gonna review. We've been working on this before. A jump is two feet to two feet, okay? Two feet to two feet. Ready, bend, jump over your object. Jump, good. And if it's low enough, you can go backwards. Bend and jump, good. So something we always talk about is that we have to bend our knees before we do these skills and after. So make sure you're doing that. Bend, jump, and did you land in a bend? Now straighten it out. Do it again. Bend, jump, and straighten it out. Let's do two more. Bend, jump, bend, jump. Last one, bend, jump, and bend, jump. Good. We've already worked on hops. Hops are helping us with our passes. Hops are helping us with our skits. Our hop is one foot to the same foot. One to one, one to one. But we stay on the same foot. So watch, hold that leg up, get your balance. We've got to bend, bend that leg again every time we go over this. Every time before and after, gonna be with the leg bend. Bend, hop over it, pop. That one's a little harder. I'm not gonna go backwards just yet. Pick it up, bend, get your object ready, hop over it, good. Okay, two more, bend, hop. And you know you can switch feet, but you have to keep the same foot up in there the whole time. Bend, hop, last one. Bend, hop. Okay, that was your jump. That was your hop. Now we're gonna do our leap, okay? Stand behind your object. Point your toe behind you. I wanna see a straight leg in the back, okay? This is also one foot to one foot, but here's what happens. Just like our hitch kick, we jump off of one foot and land on the other foot, okay? So we sweep it and then we jump onto the front leg. We leap onto the front leg. I should use that forever. Ready? Sweep and leap. Why do I say sweep? Because we got to kick that leg out front. We can't try to push off. There's nowhere to go. 
So what needs to happen is we sweep the leg first over the object, bend the back leg, that's where the bend happens, switch onto the front leg. That's where the plie happens at the end of the leaf, okay? So if we want to look like we're doing these beautiful dance leaves and our legs are in the splits in the air, we have got to learn which foot we jump off of, which foot we jump onto, okay? So that is one thing I really want you to keep in mind. Sweep and leap, ready? Sweep and leap. Now you can go away from your object and you can run up to it, sweep and leap over, okay? Mm, take it from every angle you can. Go behind it, run up to it, sweep and leap, okay? Right now, I'm not so worried about those toes and knees. I'm just worried about the locomotor skill of the sweep, the jump off the back foot, laying on the front foot. I know you can do it. Take it from another side, try the other leg. Run up, sweep and leap, got it? You can run back, run up, sweep and leap, very good. Okay, this is something you can, let's not say making mess. If there's already mess out, why don't you practice leaping over the things before you pick them up, right? So I'm gonna run over to the room, I'm gonna jump over my t-shirt, I'm gonna jump over my water bottle, I'm gonna jump over the ball, I'm gonna jump over the remote, right? I'm gonna leap over all these things. So practice this. There are lots of ways that you can practice when you're still not in the studio, okay? We miss you very much, but we know you're using this time to practice and build all your dance and gym muscles, and we're super proud of that. Okay, so I'm gonna be back next week. We're gonna review your hitch kick, your kick cross touch, your three step turn, your leaps, your passe hops, your passe walks, okay? So think about these things as homework, right? I want you to be able to build that balance because now if we have all of this down, we can learn even more fun and cool things, all right? So what that's gonna take is you thinking about it, you teaching your body how to do it, and you using all the muscles it takes to point your toes, to balance, to keep everything right where it should be, right? Because our legs just can't run away from us. We have to tell them what to do. So let's think about all of those things. Let's get that passe. We can do it in the gym. We can do it in the studio. We can work on all these things. We're gonna have a great time together this month and learn a lot of things. If you are in a pre-K jam class, now would be the perfect time to go find your video and practice those dances at least three times. More is better, but at least three times, okay? So let's see if you can do that. Stay with me, spend about 10 more minutes, get those three dances done, and you guys will have practice just like you were in the studio this week. All right, thanks for tuning in.